All right. So in this video, I will be showing you how to get MSI Combustor, which is a part of MSI Afterburner if you install it. Um, you can also use it individually uh, outside of MSI Afterburner. But either way, uh, we will be showing you how to get it today. So uh, we're going to go ahead and open our web browser. And then uh, we're going to go to this link here, MSI Combustor. And this will be uh, through the geek3d.com. Uh, you can also get it in other places, but I know that this is the reputable source because this is the uh, updater for the MSI Combustor. Um, uh, it will send you this link to update it. Um, it doesn't have an auto update uh, feature, which updates it kind of like anything else. It does need you to go to a link every time to update it currently. Um, Anyways, so this will be the link that I will have in the description. If you don't trust me, you can Google search it and then find the link yourself um, that you find to be valid or trustworthy. Anyways, so with this website, the link in the description will bring you here and you will click the download. And you will click the top link. These are the previous versions. This is the newest one available. So we'll click that one. And then a big download button here will pop up from the Geek3D server and we'll click that. And we will just put it in my performance folder. You can put it anywhere you like. Um, this is just convenience for me. As you can tell, I already have it. So we will just save and replace. And I will click it to open. Maybe I won't. We'll go in here to my tools and we will go to performance, MSI Afterburner, and then we will click the newest one available. This screen could or could not pop up depending on uh, your computer. For me, it does. So we'll click more and run anyway. And then click yes. I would like to allow it to modify my computer. Uh, it's just downloading the settings and, and everything into the perspective folders. Um, accept agreement if you would like to read through this, you're more than welcome to. All right. And then obviously, this is the folder that it's going to end up in. I already have it, but we'll do this anyway. Um, so you have the option to create a desktop icon and quick launch. I already have the app and everything installed, so I will uh, not choose to do that. And then simple as that, it just installs and extracts the files. And it's a relatively quick install and you just click next. And then if you'd like to launch it, you're more than welcome to do so. And we will for this circumstance. And then as you can see, it is the newest available. And uh, yeah, so you can run a stress test for whatever purpose that you're trying to accomplish. Um, you can look through these, test them out, find which one you know fits you best. Um, also, you can change the resolution on the screen for the test that you're running. Uh, they have pre-programmed uh, one here for 1080, 1440p, and obviously 4K. Um, you also can check for the artifacts, turn that on and off, whether you want to check for artifacts, whether you're trying to overclock your card, or if you're just keeping it um, as a genuine test for FPS. Um, you can also have it full screen or not full screen. And then uh, I believe this is a CPU burner. Uh, it's like a test bench for your CPU. I haven't used it before, so I'm not going to uh, explain something I don't understand. Um, but yes, that is everything that you will need to know to install MSI Combustor. And then once you do install it, I don't know if you have to restart or not MSI Afterburner, but this option will become available if you don't want to use MSI Combustor as a standalone. All right. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day.